Hey everyone, welcome to 28th JavaScript basics video in which we're going to discuss how to use for each for arrays. So basically, it's similar to other two methods we learned. So I'm going to create an array. Again, I'm going to say this is these are some names. Um anything, right? Stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is say array for each now for each is just like map but instead what happens in map is that whatever value you return a new array is created out of it right but for each what happens is that that's just a simple loop right so it's basically just doing uh, doing something with this element right doesn't matter what you return doesn't matter if you return anything at all or not just that's that's it basically so you can just console log element right hit save you can see that uh, we get all the names listed and you can verify that nothing is being you know returned from this for each by just console logging it and you see we get undefined that's mean that means this particular piece of code doesn't really return anything at all right so for each is basically used in, uh, in as a drop-in replacement for our traditional loops like stuff like this you can say is array of i and then whatever you want to do with this element this is basically more or less like this only there are obviously differences between them but again since this is a beginner tutorial i'm not really going to cover a lot of differences but more or less you can think of these two as the same implementation at least when you don't have any asynchronous code right we're going to get to that later on but for now this is just a cleaner and drop in replacement for this for loop right so yeah i guess that's it for the for each part and uh, i'll see you then in the next one